An Ohio couple will have quite the story to tell their daughter, Adeline, when she gets a little bit older. That story kicking off today's trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Walton Arts Center. I love this story. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of on the verge of tears a little bit. David and Kaylee Gibbs were expecting their first baby together earlier this month when David, a third-year medical student, was on duty on his surgery OBGYN rotation at a hospital. Well, his wife goes into labor, and guess who was there <laughs> to make his baby's first catch? Well, none other than, of course, Dad slash Dr. David. I love it. I love that. What a special moment for mom, dad, and baby. Mom called the entire day perfect, and David said this was a highlight of his medical school experience by far. I, w I would love to know how many doctors have delivered their own children. Their own children. That's a good, that's it's a very good statistic. Cool. But how cool is that? I love it. it. Yeah. Very sweet. Congratulations. Yes, congrats. Well, they were supposed to be birthday presents or maybe even Christmas presents. They were supposed to be the most special treat for <laughs> fans of Taylor Swift. But instead of the hours-long Ticketmaster debacle parents endured this week trying to score concert seats, left them empty-handed and frustrated and their kids disappointed. In a tweet Tuesday, the company called uh, <clears throat> demand historically unprecedented with millions of people trying to buy Fresh off one of her biggest album launches of her career, Swift announced earlier this <coughs> month she was going on a new U.S. stadium tour starting next year. Fans who received a special code after registering had exclusive access to buy tickets Wednesday. The 52-date Eras Tour kicks off March 17th in Glendale, Arizona. You marked yourself safe from this uh, debacle, right, Jackie? Yeah, I'm safe from this. I mean, I love Taylor Swift, but um, I'm going to sit this one out. Yeah. But... I saw so many people on social media posting. I saw a lot of success stories. I saw Did not too. see a lot of people that were frustrated. Um, one of my friends said, I got my Taylor Swift tickets, yeah. but it was a bloodbath. Yes. It was hilarious. But um, a friend of mine did secure um, some tickets for her daughter for Christmas. Okay. Uh, got some other friends who also were able to secure tickets as well, but they were in the queue for eight, eight hours. Eight hours is a long time. I love you, Tay Tay, but... Eight hours. Not even Beyonce can get eight hours. Can you do me. something else uh, while you're in the queue? I don't really know how queues work. You got to sit there, like ready to well, go. Well, you got to be sit there, ready to go. Um, you mm -hmm. know, you got to wiggle your mouse or do whatever to make sure that it's still going. It's nope. it's still loading. But kudos to the parents yeah. who waited. Whether or not you were able to get tickets or not, just the fact that you tried to secure those tickets, man, kudos to you. And hope it hopefully uh, hopefully Ticketmaster uh, is able to kind of work yeah, something out sort there. Yeah, sort that out. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Well, Snoop Dogg is getting a big screen biopic. Yes. This is a long time coming, I feel like. It's going to be written by uh, Joe Robert Cole, who co-wrote the two Black Panther films and directed by Alan Hughes, the filmmaker um, of Menace to Society. Universal previously turned the story of rap group NWA into the 2015 hit Straight Outta Compton and also released the acclaimed uh, Eminem biopic, if you remember that, of course, 8 Mile. Snoop is going to serve as co-producer of the film. What do you think the title is for this? Oh, I, that's a good one. Something D O W G. Yep. Dog House. I don't know. The Dog Father. Dog Father. Yeah, something like that. I shout out to Menace to Society. I haven't thought of that film in years, uh, but man, that's a good one. That's when I learned what a forty was. Really? <laughs> that's it. That was the moment. That was it. I yes. love this. <laughs> um, actor Glenn Powell is taken to the skies again after being in Top Gun Maverick. So the actor serves as executive producer on the movie Devotion, in which he stars opposite Jonathan Majors. Joe Jonas and Tom Sadowski. Based, Real quick, did you yeah. say Jonathan Majors? <laughs> it does. I knew you were going to have a moment. <laughs> Creed 3, I don't know. We're doing all Jonathan Majors. Let's just take a pause for Jonathan Majors. You have devotion to John Majors. I do. Uh, this film is based on a book of the same name. It follows the story of two elite U.S. Navy fighter pilots in the Korean War and what they sacrificed for their country. Powell said on reading the story he knew he had to bring it to the big screen Director J.D. Dillard wanted the action scenes to look as realistic as possible, so he used several real fighter planes while shooting. Okay. Devotion is released in the U.S. on November 23rd. Okay. Of course this looks good. And I'm Joe Jonas? I know. I wonder if uh, Sophie gave him a couple of acting <laughs> lists. What do you think? I hope she did, <laughs> to be honest. But he does have charisma, so I'm okay. interested to see how that plays out. Okay, I like how you said that. Yeah. All right, well, nine years after his first Las Vegas residency uh, concluded in 2014, Garth Brooks returning for another run. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this. 
In May, the Superstar is going to kick off Garth Brooks Plus One. It's a one-year, 27-day residency at the Coliseum in Caesars Palace. Brooks says the Plus One concept will uh, play out in a couple of ways. So it would be uh, like his band members, maybe one of them would be called up to play with them, or it could even be maybe a special guest, maybe his wife, mm -hmm. Trisha Yearwood may join him um, on stage. So each show will be unique in this way. Verified fan registration runs through today. Haven't heard anybody having any issues. Not yet. Not yet, but let us know if, if Ticketmaster is, is having you in queue for eight hours. Uh, the public sale of tickets will follow. I know when Garth Brooks was here, right. of course, in Fayetteville, I mean, Razorback Stadium was packed. So packed I can out. only imagine what he will do in Vegas. Yeah, I think it's going to be a successful tour. He, ha he has charisma. So Speaking of charisma, he's got that as well in yeah. spades. Yeah.